What's good, YouTube? This is Kevin coming at you with a new video. I don't have a face cam set up this time because essentially I couldn't be bothered to set it up. Uh, I didn't feel like going with the tripod and all that sort of mess. So we're just doing this desktop style. Something that I feel has been lacking in my videos lately, um, and all of my videos over my entire YouTube career, is the fact that I haven't really bothered to make custom thumbnails for the videos and the thumbnails are important because they can help you sort of you know catch the eyes of viewers who wouldn't already be interested in your videos and all that sort of stuff so today i am going to show the process of me making my first ever custom video thumbnail uh the biggest way that i'm going to do this is i'm going to go open up uh, a program called gimp that was recommended to me by my stepbrother a while ago that I never bothered to use, uh, but I'm finally going to take advantage of it now, and I'm just gonna see what I can pull off uh, using this software. So, first things first, the rough idea I have for this thumbnail is to just take a screenshot of the software and then overlay some text over the top of it. I could theoretically just put some text directly into the thumbnail, but I want to play around with, you know, taking screenshots and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and a uh, cool tip that I learned upon Googling for this video is that the Windows button plus print screen takes a screen cap and that will be in your files. So I will open. So now I've opened up screenshot two. Uh, I have a dual monitor set up. You don't normally see the second monitor unless you're, you know, actually using the computer, but you know, it is what it is and I'm going to have to work with it. Uh, I mostly just want to work with not that part, but I want to work with this screen right here with the actual uh, photo editor on it. I want to trim it out so it's just the window of the editor so I'm gonna pull this sort of move and see what sorts of tools I have do I have a trimmer crop tool all right so I'm slowly in the process of figuring this software out it seems like what I want to do is hit this and then hit control C and did it work it did not work well then I'm going to right click pick tools transform tools and crop shift plus C okay I'll need to keep that in mind all right and now that I am a little bit more where I want this to be I am going to select I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more to make sure I don't accidentally eliminate any pixels that I wanted to keep is I am going to select just the window itself and it's going to take a second to get all the way over there. Just the window. And hit Shift C. And now we will have just the image that I'm wanting to edit. And so now I'm going to very simply insert a text tool and hit making my own thumbnails.
with significantly more playing around with the software, I think I'm a little bit happier with this particular layout. Also, I am, in fact, a complete idiot and didn't notice all of these tools off to the side for the text formatting. Uh, I wish I had run into them sooner, but unfortunately, I did not. So, ultimately, I think this is what I'm going to go with. Uh, I could go all caps and make it pop even more, but I feel like that's a little bit aggressive. Uh, let me just try bolding it, see if that makes any difference. It doesn't, probably because I'm using a bold font. Um, honestly, I'm pretty happy with this, so I am going to go ahead and... Alright, so it turns out in order to turn it into a usable file, I did not need to turn it into... Uh, I didn't need to save it, I needed to export it. Uh, I think I'm going to go with JPEG just because that's sort of like the standard image file that I'm aware of. Um, I'm just going to go with standard, the, the, the default options for this project. And I assume, all right, it has been exported already. And I'm going to look at it. It is in screenshots or not. Ah, there it is. I'm going to open it with photos and boom, there it is. That is going to be the thumbnail for this video. I'm sorry if this video has been a little bit rambly and unfocused, but that's just the nature of it. When you're trying something new, you're not really easily able to narrate your thought process. Um, I might go back and make thumbnails for some of my older videos, but don't count on it. And I will be making thumbnails to the best of my ability for all videos I make in the future. So all that said, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.